We're going to take a look at the speed improvements to the straighten tool here inside of Aperture. This is one of the bug fixes that Aperture 3.1 has in it. I've taken this image here and this was the way uh, my image was shot originally and just to show all the effects that I could possibly put on, I've put on a straighten noise reduction. Let me turn on a white balance adjustment here. I'm going to adjust this a little bit. Uh, we have exposure, enhance curves, highlights and shadows. We have all of these adjustments on. I've also done a little bit of skin smoothing and now just for the heck of it I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do a little bit of a blur. These are all effects that would have in Aperture 3.0 uh, It really slowed down the process of doing a straighten uh, in the application. So now that I've done some blur and I've done some um, so now I've done a blur and I've done all these other effects. I'm going to hit the G key for straighten and I can see that my straighten cursor is up. I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to move it around. Now if I had done this, this is a Nikon D3S image. If I had done this with so many effects onto an image in Aperture 3.0, uh, my cursor would have spun, I would have got a beach ball, I would have been sitting around. Now it just does it without any problem.